This was a 5K that I ran many, many, many years ago. I have been running since 2013. I am now in the middle of training for my two, three, four, five, sixth, sixth full marathon. That's 26.2 miles. I have a long run tomorrow of 17 miles. My marathon, the New York City Marathon, is on November 5th, so I'm in the thick of it. Today, I need to make sure that what I eat is going to properly and effectively fuel my long run tomorrow. You guys have heard of the legendary carb loading that precedes lots of long distance races. That's basically what we're gonna do today, only Korean vegan style. Speaking of carbs, we gotta have rice. So we're gonna go cook the rice first. I don't know if you know this, but my father's father, so my paternal grandfather, was a rice trader. So we take rice very seriously in my house. In fact, my father has yelled at me a lot for making rice poorly. As you can see, I use the hand method to measure the amount of water and it has never failed me. I've been making rice since I was in single digits. In the days before the marathon, I'll literally eat only carbohydrates, usually boiled potatoes and a little bit of soy sauce because I can't have fat or protein to take up any of the space in my muscles. I can just eat carbs. But for training runs, I like to keep it somewhat balanced. Yes, very carb heavy, but also with a little bit of lean protein. So for today, I'm gonna make my go-to pre-long run meal, which is braised potatoes as well as Korean braised tofu. I'll include links to the full instructional videos for all of these recipes below. I've been experimenting with all sorts of ways of eating before long runs and before marathons and even half marathons. And I'll say a couple of things. It does depend a little bit on the person. Some people obviously have allergies to wheat or other food sensitivities that may prevent them from really carb loading with pasta and spaghetti. For me, my body reacts really, really well to rice and potatoes. So I do not like to eat pasta before long runs. I like to eat potatoes and rice. The other thing to keep in mind is before a long run and certainly before a race, you do want to eat carbohydrates that are easy for your body to digest and doesn't have a lot of fiber because fiber can make things a little bit difficult in the tummy area. White potatoes, white bread, white pasta, and white rice. Yeah, I know, all the things that you're not supposed to eat, all of a sudden you are supposed to eat in the four days before a marathon, which is why I always tell Anthony, the four days before a marathon are like freaking Christmas to me, because I can finally eat all these things and I can do it with impunity. I've been running since 2013. I ran my very first marathon in 2017. But what a lot of people don't know is that first run in 2013, I only managed to do 0.75 miles. And I actually had to take a break in the middle because I couldn't even do that all in one run. So when people tell me that they could never run a marathon, subject to a disability that really impairs them from running 26.2 miles, I always tell them my story, which is, hey, I started by running only three quarters of a mile and I had to take a break halfway through. It took me 14 minutes to complete that. And then four years later, I was running 26.2 miles. If I can do it, you can too. I don't know about you, but those potatoes, they look so good. I'm so excited to eat this. Oh, that tubujorim or braised tofu is gorgeous. And you know what? I love how easy this meal is to make. It, I think that's why it's my go-to pre-long run meal. Let's check out how the rice turned out. Perfect. My dad would be proud. <laughs> 